Hey, this is Ken Krause with IBM's Collaboration Solutions. I'm going to walk through the new social portal capabilities from IBM Webster Portal and IBM Connections. Uh, this demo is based on Connections 4 and Portal 8 using social rendering portlets and community pages. What you're looking at right now is a community set up in Connections. This is the Acme Anvil Corporation. It's an HR community. It's all the normal co components of a community, files, bookmarks, events, membership, etc. What we want to do is render this externally through a portal. Uh, maybe to restrict access, add applications, or content. This is the same content rendered within WebSphere Portal using the community rendering portlets. It's been configured, so this looks like what we want it to look like when we're finished. We're going to do this by creating a page, associating that page with the community, and then configuring the social rendering portlets to render and interact with each other. Our first step is to go into edit mode. This is basic administrative capability. It allows authorized users to create, edit, maintain pages without having to go through an administrator or complex configuration. Once in edit mode, we're going to select the new sibling page to create a blank page at the same navigational level as the Acme HR co collaboration page. We'll give it a new name and leave the template option alone for now. We'll discuss that later in the video. Once the page is created, we need to start to set up some basic attributes. We'll start with the color, maybe the layout of the page. These are out of the box options, but with some minor design work, your developers can create their own color schemes and page layout options and make them available to the end users. We'll select a two column layout here. Once we have the basic page layout and colors, we need to add some portlets. To do this, we'll look in our catalog of available portlets and filter it by social content portlets. Here you'll see all the social portlets available to the user. There are list portlets, detail portlets, summary portlets for each of the community components. We'll go ahead and start and drag down the community events portlet and drop it on the page in the left-hand column. Once we've placed it on the page and saved it, we're going to go ahead and now associate this page with the community. So we'll hit edit. And here you'll see a list of communities to which I'm a member or owner or are public. So let's go ahead and we'll select the Acme HR Corporation community and save it. Once the page loads, you'll see the list of events from the community events widgets. Now we'll add a few more to the page. We'll add a list of community content. And once we do this, we'll go ahead and we'll move the community events over to the smaller column on the right. Let's go ahead and skip ahead. I'll get a couple of these set up on, on the page. So we can start to customize the page. We're going to go ahead and change the name of this portlet to Conversations. We'll also change the name of the forums portlets to discussions. Part of the built-in capability of these portlets is the rendering option. As you can see, when I move the conversations portlet to a smaller column, the layout dynamically changes. I see a little less information and the icons and details are arranged differently. Moving it back resets the view to fit in the real estate. This is the responsive design of the theme of the portlet built into the, the theme and the, the portlet capabilities. Now we need to add some experts from the community. So we'll go back to the portlet catalog and add the list of people portlet. And this will give us a list of people from the community to place on the page and show their profile information. You'll notice it shows that a, a list of the members from the community by default. Opening up the edit form configuration shows us some details for customizing this portlet. Let's start by renaming it Related Experts first. Then down below, you'll see an option to filter by tags or terms. This allows us to narrow the list of people returned in the portlet. Since this is an HR community, let's narrow it with people to people with HR somewhere in their profile. You could use tags as well.
After that, we'll want to change the way some of the content is laid out. Opening the edit form allows us to change the rendering component to a more compact, minimal layout. Here we'll select the simple layout instead of the current comprehensive. This will help with some real estate and, and look and feel of the Portland page. Additional Wickham components can be created easily for a more customized look as needed. The page reloads, you'll notice the minimal layout now in the files portlet. We'll go ahead and do this to the other portlets in the column as well. The next item to add to the page is a simple image view portlet. We'll add this to the top, save the change, and then select an image to display. This is another out-of-the-box portlet that just simply shows an image on the side. The lookup can be configured to select a local image, or you can change it to get an image out of the content library or even a third-party repository. For this example, we'll go ahead and select a local image. In order for this page to take advantage of the tags and communication between the portlets, we need to apply what's called a full profile to this page so that all the components are available. We do this by editing the page properties. Once this is open, you'll see an advanced tab, and under there, you'll see an option to change the profile. The profile tells Portal how, how and what to load in the page and can be customized as needed. Let's go ahead and do this and continue figure, configuring the page. Now that the profile has been apl applied, we can add the tag cloud portlet to the page and start to configure its actions. We'll go ahead and drag it to the top right column, save the page, and then we'll start to update the shared settings to use the tags from the content on the page. By default, the tag cloud uses the tags available from the portal engine. What we want it to do is use the tags that are present in the community and then relate to the other content items on the page. So we can go in and sh edit the shared settings to use tags from the content on the page and then expose selected tags as rendering objects. This is done by editing the shared settings and setting the tag display modes to transmitted tags only and the action modes to expose public render parameters. This allows us to broadcast tag selections to the other portlets. As an example, we can edit the conversations portlet to enable tag selection support. Opening the edit shared settings, we simply check the enable tag selection support and save and close. This tells the portlet to filter its results by the broadcast tag. The other social rendering portlets can be configured in the same way to filter the results. After this is done, we're done setting up the basic social portal page. From here, if we wanted to, we could then save this as a template and make it available to other users so that they could set up identical pages and configure them for specific communities without going through the steps that we've gone through above. They'd simply select the template when they created a new page. The last major configuration is to set up landing pages for the content. So instead of linking to the connection site or to another configured portal page when a user clicks a link in an article or a profile or, or, or form or file, we'll create hidden pages for each of the content types and render the full content on those pages. We'll start with the blogs page. First thing we do is enter edit mode again and create a child page under the main Acme HR page. We'll simply call it blogs for now. Once this page is created, we'll customize it just as we did before with color and specific layout for the content.
Next, we'll add the blogs portlet to the left column. This will render the blog information from the community. We'll place the blogs portlet on the page and then associate the page just as we did before with the community. You'll notice it already has a button to associate with the parents page. We'll use the Acme HR community just as we did before. And this will bring us the blog and content from the community. We'll go ahead and add an image portlet here as well as a tag portlet to finish out the content on the page. We'll need to configure the blog's portlet to send and receive tag information. So we edit the wires for this page. We'll send tags to the page as well as receive tags. Lastly, we need to edit the page properties to make this a hidden page. This is done by adding a parameter to the advanced tab under properties. Make sure you hit the add link before you hit save. Now you can see the page has been removed from the navigation and we can return to the main page in view mode and see it in action. As we browse the page, clicking on a blog entry in the conversations portlets will take us to the main detail page for blogs that we just created. Here users can then interact with the blog, adding comments, interacting with tags, liking, etc., and sharing. The remaining portlets have similar pages set up for them to provide the same experience. The easiest way to do this again is to create a te page template. I'll cover that in a later video. So there you have it. We've rendered the connections community information in portal, configured for an interactive experience, linked the tags to broadcast to all the portlets, and created a reusable page configuration that can be shared with other users, all without any coding. Thanks for watching.